my privilege this morning on behalf of the thousand men and women of English Shipbuilding who have brought the berry to this state of construction to welcome you to a christening. A little more than a decade ago, on Armed Forces Day, 1981, we gathered on this very pier to christen the Navy's very first Aegis ship, the cruiser Ticonderoga. Since then, the Aegis cruiser program has become a synonym for success in defense procurement, ship design and production, and contracts management. The very same team of Navy industry participants that have made the Aegis Cruiser program so successful are participants in the Aegis Destroyer program. And there is no question that under the same set of circumstances in time, the Aegis Destroyer program will experience the same success. We take the first step in bringing Barry to life. The tradition is centuries old. When a ship is named, she starts developing the personality which will serve her and her crew through the life of the ship. Barry already has a distinguished heritage as the fourth destroyer named for Commodore John Barry, a Revolutionary War hero. Now, the Navy's come a long way in that nearly 200 years since then, and this ship is the best example of that modern technology and the integration of the various engineering, manufacturing, and construction disciplines with testing, training, and lifetime support. The most important group that I should recognize at this time, express my admiration for and appreciation, are the men and women here at Ingalls, the ones who, through their dedicated effort, craftsmanship, have helped bring the berry to this important day. And in fact, it's adding another great chapter to the honor roll of Ingalls' history and shipbuilding accomplishments. Barry marks the second Aegis destroyer and the first to be built here at Ingalls Shipbuilding, a shipyard that has built great ships for our Navy. On behalf of the Chief of Naval Operations, I congratulate the entire Ingalls team on another job well done. The Navy has come to expect the best from the Aegis program and now the Arleigh Burke Destroyer program. As our soldiers, sailors, airmen and Marines are being recognized in a massive parade in Washington, D.C. today to celebrate our victory against Iraq, I think it's most appropriate to remind you of Ingalls' important role in that distant world. The Ingalls built Aegis cruisers Ticonderoga, Valley Forge, Bunker Hill, Mobile Bay, Antietam, and Leyte Gulf all participated in operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm. I would like to take a moment today to talk about and recognize the men and women of Ingalls Shipyard who have made this very day possible. Each of you embody the skills, the pride, the vigor, that have made this nation and our Navy the greatest on Earth. The ability of our sailors and Marines to conquer aggression begins right here in America's shipyards, right here in Pascagoula. This yard and all the people who are part of it represent the essential link between America's industrial strength and her ability to defend her interest anywhere on the globe. We remember back last year in February, we were here for the keel laying of this ship. During the past 16 months, it has grown from a single steel plate to this impressive ship we see today. The progress of construction is a tribute to the men and women of this shipyard, the thousands who are members of the Ingalls family. From the Spruance class destroyers to the Aegis cruisers, You've been on the leading edge of the newest surface warship technology, and it has paid off for our Navy and for the United States. During the recent war in the Persian Gulf, our Navy played a vital and decisive role, and so did Ingalls. More than 25% of the ships 
that fought in the Persian Gulf were either built or modernized here. Two of those ships were hit by mines. Both the USS Tripoli and the USS Princeton not only survived with no loss of life, but they were able to continue to perform their missions. I congratulate you on the quality of the ships you build for the United States Navy. Your performance here at Ingalls saved lives in the Persian Gulf and enabled our nation to stand firm against cruel aggression and turn back an evil force. Today in Washington, our nation's capital celebrates that great victory and honors those who fought for freedom and justice. Today in Pascagoula, we honor you at this shipyard who are every bit as responsible for the success of Desert Storm as those who were there. You deserve our sincerest thanks and commendation. In the name of the United States and in honor of Captain John Barry and the three previous Navy ships so named, I christen thee Barry. All right.